friends, it's Tracy from HallofameMoms.com with another video. I wanted to show you real quick what I got for a quarter each. This is my um, homeschool book haul, and uh, I stopped at the local Goodwill outlet. Now, we have a bunch of Goodwill stores in our area, but we have one Goodwill outlet where I guess it's the rejects from the other stores, things that they didn't sell and these items go into bins, big bins, and you dig through the bins. Well, they, uh, the books they sell for a quarter each, um, some things um, they sell by weight. So anyways, my um, boys are in middle school. One is going to be entering high school in the fall, and I don't know what books I want to use for literature yet, <clears throat> but I figured I'd, for a quarter I'd go ahead and get these and then I'd do some research on them. And I tried to do a little research on some of the books while I was there. But um, for a quarter, how can you go wrong, right? So I, um, I'm going to show you real quick. So Island of the Blue Dolphins. Now, um, some of these books are, I think, I think their publication is from like the 1960s. So, of course, they're going to be, you know, used and or, you know, kind of, um, you know, papers brown and stuff like that, but I don't mind that, and I like having older books too, so I just took a disinfectant cloth and wiped down the covers, and um, that just makes me feel better about about having us use the books, even though, I mean, let's be honest, you know, when we get books from the library, we don't know, well, what kind of dirty hands have handled those books, right? So, Let's look through this, this real quick. Island of the Blue Dolphins. <coughs> Robins, Robinson Crusoe. Now, I will say this. Um, because I haven't read these books myself, um, although I've heard of them, you know, um, I did ask um, in one of the homeschool groups called uh, It's Not That Hard to Homeschool on Facebook. I did post a picture of some of the books that um, I wanted to start my boys on and got... Opinions from, from um, moms, there's a lot of um, women there giving me their two cents on the books, and it sounds like I got, you know, um, some good choices here. Um, so, but all that to say, if you, if you ever have, uh, if you're looking for a good homeschool group to, you know, get opinions from other moms, look up It's Not That Hard to Homeschool on Facebook. It's a, it's a group. So Robinson Crusoe, I've been told, is probably better for, you know, high school maybe upper middle um, middle school the island of the blue dolphins um, so my understanding on this book this book based on what I read it Robinson Crusoe was written in the 1700s I think and um, possibly was the um, be the leader of this type of literature um, so you just a little bit of based on what I've read island of the blue dolphins is based <coughs> excuse me on another true story, t as I understand, uh, about a girl, she was the last, maybe the last of her tribe getting stranded on an island for um, like 18 years by herself. Okay, I haven't looked into this one. Jules Verne, the man who invented the future, but it looked interesting. Okay, so I, I found two of the, um, I think it's <coughs> four, four books in this set for um, the the chron yeah, well, the Chronicles of Narnia. I'm not sure how many books are in there. And I dug and I dug. I could only find book four and book two, but I went ahead and got them. Okay, The Hatchet. <coughs> um, a book identifying... Oh, hold on. <coughs> of course, my voice is going to act up when I'm doing a video. Okay, so a book on identifying shells. I thought this would be good because um, we've had the opportunity to go to uh, Myrtle Beach and... Um, some beaches in Florida over the past couple years. So I have a shell collection, and I also have um, some fossils and rocks that we've collected um, from trips. So I've got that. The story of the Nutcracker. We recently saw the Nutcracker performance. Um, some friends in our STEAM club are actually dancers in it um, here at, the, um, at a local uh, ballet. And... Um, I don't think me or my boys really know what the story is, so I thought this was this would be good. Oliver Twist. Okay, it's really big. I don't know if anybody's going to read this. I think I actually have an abridged version that one of my boys read. Um, I'll get to this soon. Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer. Um, 
I got this Haley's Bible Handbook. I mean, that'd be a looks like a decent resource, especially for a quarter for like Bible studies. Now, my boys are way past this, but I like the Dick and Jane um, simplicity. And I went ahead and got it. It was only a quarter. I can afford to give it away if, if I don't ever need it. But just in case I would end up homeschooling, you know, a younger child down the road, not, not one of my own, but, you know, if I, if I end up homeschooling a friend or a relative, um, I just went ahead and got it. Um, Joshua Harris, I do believe that um, I have read uh, one or two of his books, The I Kiss Dating Goodbye and something else. So I went ahead and got this to check out. Um, I found this, Kids Love Ohio. This is a travel guide. Um, since I do a lot of writing on Ohio travel, <clears throat> places that my kids and our, my husband and I go to, I thought this would be a good resource to look up places that we might want to visit and I can blog about. And then this looked like a fun book. It's old, of course, 1001 Riddles. Um, an easy to read book, you know, for the boys to just look at and maybe find some good riddles to try on us or their friends. So that's it. So I pay, oh no, that's not it. Okay, the Ohio Streams. Okay, so this is, um, What's it say? Ohio chapter of the American Fishery Society. So what I thought is, you know, hey, for a quarter, and it comes with a map. This could be part of our Ohio history and geography studies. So I'm really eclectic in my way of homeschooling. I like to take something like this, just something kind of obscure, and use it in our studies. So I'll probably talk more about that um, later. So anyways, that's it. So I got all of this a quarter each. And um, that's what I wanted to share with you. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And um, you may want to subscribe to my channel. If you like these kind of videos, I do share product reviews. Um, I share our homeschooling life and um, whatever else I decide I want to share. Okay. Thanks for watching.